Good morning year two and welcome to Monday morning's maths lesson. Now last week you focused on a column addition which is based on adding numbers together. But this week we thought that we would focus on doing column subtraction where we are taking numbers away from each other. So again, like I said, we're going to be looking at column subtraction. And here, as you can see, I have got my first sum ready in column addition form. So let's have a look at the sum I've got. I've got 9 take away 7. Now I only ha I have 9 ones and 0 tens. And I have 7 ones and 0 tens because they're both one digit number. When we have a one digit number, we only have ones. So when we subtract, we always start with the biggest number. So what is the biggest number here? Brilliant, it is 9. And that is why 9 is the top number in our column subtraction sum. So I want everybody to put 9 in their head and take away 7. Can you do that for me now? Excellent work. It is 2. Now I'm going to make sure that I put my answer in the 1's column. So I'm going to follow my, put my finger on 9. Follow it down, down, down. And then when I get into my line and it's in the 1's column, I'm going to write the number 2 there. Let's have a look again. As you can see, I've got no 10, so I've got 0. Take away 0, which equals exactly 0. So let's have a look at another one, shall we? Now here, again, I've got two one-digit numbers, so I've only got ones. And as you can see, I've got 8 take away 3. Why is 3 on the bottom and 8 on the top? Fantastic. Eight's on the top because it is the biggest number. And when we subtract, we always start with the biggest number. So let's have a look at this then. Can you then do, let's have a look together, eight take away three. Can you do that for me now? Super duper, everybody. It's five. Let's check together. So I'm going to put eight in my head. Take away three. Are you ready? Seven, six, five. You were right. Well done. So here again, where do I put my ten for my ones? Five, five ones. Do I put it here or in the ones column? Fantastic. Well done. We put it in the ones column because eight and three are our ones number. So let's have a look at a bit of a trickier one now where we're going to have some tens to look at. So here I have Watson. Could you read this sum to your grown-up for me? Super duper. I have 18 take away 8. And again, 18's on top because it's the biggest number. So, if I look at 18 closely, 18 has 1 10 and 8 1's. And 8 has 0 10's and 8 1's. What do we take away First, do we take away the tens or do we take away the ones? Excellent work. We take away the ones first. So let's have a go. Could you do eight ones? Take away eight ones. Have a go. It's a bit of a tricky one, this one. Fantastic. It is zero. So where do I put my zero ones? Do I put it in the tens column or do I put it in the ones column? Excellent work. We put it in the ones column. So I'm going to put my nice big zero here. Like that. Now, have I finished this sum yet? No, I haven't because I've still got to do my tens. So let's have a look at the tens. I've got one ten, take away zero tens. What's the answer to that? Exactly, it's still one ten, because one take away nothing is one. Where do I put that one ten? Who can remind me? 
Brilliant. I'm following my tens column all the way down. And I'm making sure I put my one ten underneath the tens. So what number does 18 take away 8 make? Fantastic. It makes 10. Well done. Let's have a look at the other side. I've got another one just like that too. So can you read this sum first to your grown-up? Excellent. It is 15 take away 2. Now let's have a look closely. If I look at 15, it's got how many ones? Brilliant. Five and how many tens? Excellent one. Let's have a look at the number two. What's this number? Is this the tens or has it, is it the ones? Excellent. It's the ones. It's in the one column. And any number we look at to help you, the last number is always the ones number. So I've got five ones and two ones. And I've got one ten. Who can tell me what do we take away first? Do we take away the tens or do we take away the ones? Excellent work. Well done. We take away the ones first. So, do I do two take away five? No, I don't, do I? Because five is the biggest number in our ones section. So, I need to start with the biggest number. So, I need to do five ones take away two ones. Could you do that for me at home? Put five in your head and take away two. Are you ready? Four, three. Fantastic. Well done. So, I've got three ones and I've put it in my one section. Let's have a look at our tens number. How many tens have we got here? So we've got one ten. Take away how many tens? Zero ten. So what's the answer to that? Excellent. One ten. Because one take away zero still equals one. And as you've noticed, probably children, our answer is always smaller than our first number in our sum when we're taking away. Right then, let's have a look at another sum, shall we? Oh, we're getting a bit trickier now. Oh, I've got this number sum. Can you read it to your grown-up? Excellent. It says 64 take away 22. What do we take away first? Do we take away our tens or do we take away our ones? Excellent work. We take away our ones first. What ones are ones? Is it this side or this side? Excellent work. It is this side. So let's do this bit first together. So I've got four ones. Take away two ones. Could you do that for me? Brilliant work. It's two. So I'm going to make sure that my two ones is underneath the ones in the line, just like that. Now then, let's have a look at our tens. I've got six tens, take away two tens. Can you do that for me at home as well? Great work. It is four tens. Now, we don't say four tens and two ones. What number is this? Brilliant work. It is 42. So, we've learned that 64 subtract or take away 22 equals 42. Well done. Let's have one more go together on this tricky sum. So, here I've got 49 which is four tens and nine ones, take away 27, which is two tens and seven ones. What part do we do first? Excellent. We do the ones part first. Is the four tens and the two tens our ones, or is it the nine ones and the seven ones our ones? 
Excellent work. Well done. It is nine ones take away seven ones. Can you do that for me? It's really tricky this one. You've got lots of numbers to do. Excellent work. The answer is two. And again, I'm going to write my answer in between the lines. But I'm going to make sure it's in my ones column. Excellent. Well done. Now I've done my ones. I'm going to have a look at my tens. So I've got four tens. Take away two tens. Can you do that for me? Fantastic. Well done. The answer is two. So I've got two tens. So what answer does this make? Fantastic. It makes 22 because we don't say two tens and two ones as a number. We read the number as 22. Now then, if we have a look at your sheets today, I have put lots and lots of tricky sums for you to do. Can you see? I've started with one digit takeaway, one digit. Then one di two digit, sorry, take away one digit. And then two digit, take away two digit. So here, let's have a look at this one together. I've got nine ones, take away two. Can you have a go at that one for me? Brilliant. It is seven ones. So underneath my ones, I'm going to write seven. Like that. Now... As nine and two are both one digit number, they only have one. So have we got any tens to take away? No, we haven't. So the answer is seven. Well done. Let's have a look at another one here. I've got 28 take away four. Let's have a look at the ones first. Hmm. I might circle them just so I know that they're ones numbers just to help me. I'm going to do then eight ones, take away four ones. Should we do it together? Ready, put eight in your head, and then let's take away four. Seven, six, five, four. So then I'm gonna make sure I put my four, I'm gonna follow the ones column down, and I'm going to make sure that in between the lines, my number four is written underneath the ones column. Now then, let's have a look at the tens. How many tens have I got in 28? Brilliant. I have two tens. So I've got to do two tens, take away zero tens. What's the answer? Excellent. I still have two tens. I'm going to look at my tens column. I'm going to follow it down and in between the lines, I'm going to write my two tens. Now, I hope that you really enjoy completing this activity and I can't wait to see it. So remember, when you finished your piece of work, try and get your grown up to take a picture of it and send it into your class teacher because we have been super proud so far of all of the brilliant work that you've been doing at home. So well done. Take care, children. Have a lovely day. Bye.